Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at customer experience. So a couple of nights ago I went to an industry event over here in Perth, Western Australia and I went and saw uh, Ann Cooper's story. Now for those of you who don't know, Ann Cooper is a very well respected uh, personality in the coffee community in Australia and she has done a lot of stuff over her time in the industry uh, from being a barista to being a competition barista and now she uh, does roasting. Actually she's roasted in Australia and in America and everywhere from the uh, kind of um, mass produced coffee all the way through to the specialty coffee industry and more so now her job um, is consulting, um, helping out roasters to improve their profile. And whilst that's not the topic of today's video, um, the kind of thing that was brought up a few times is customer experience and how important that is. And although it won't get as many views as my latte art videos, I think this kind of video is even more important. And so what I'm going to do now is give my opinion on customer experience, but afterwards I need you to give your opinion uh, from your local area and what's going on in the scene there. So about five years ago when I moved to Perth, the uh, specialty coffee scene was just starting to develop. And there were less cafes that produced consistently great coffee. And so in some respects, it didn't really matter how the customer was served as long as you got that great cup of coffee. Fast forward a few years and there's a number of great roasters in Perth. There's a lot of really, really good cafes. And so now the thing that will set you apart is the way the customers are treated and their whole experience with your brand. And the reason I find this so important is because specialty coffee is still such a small part of the whole coffee industry. And in order for us to expand our part in the industry, we need to make sure that customers who come in aren't put off by the specialty coffee scene. I think now the stereotype of the arrogant barista is perhaps bigger than the actual reality, but I have seen when a customer experiences that arrogant barista who will only serve the coffee the way that they think it should be served, I see how that comes across, and that is so damaging to our industry. Yeah. What we are supposed to be are representatives of the roasters we use and the farms that they source from, and if we come across as arrogant, then that just destroys the whole effort that's been put in in all the stages behind us. But now there are more cafes producing really, really good coffee. It's not enough to be just a good barista and produce a good cup. You have to kind of give the whole experience to the customer. And what's really important here is knowing what the customer wants. Some people just want to get their takeaway flat white with two sugars. Some people want to learn more about the farms. You have to kind of gauge what it is the customer wants and give them that. And whilst a very hot cappuccino with two sugars isn't the way that you'll drink your coffee, if that's the way the customer likes it, they'll get the same experience when they sip that coffee as you get when you produce your filter for yourself or whatever it is you really like to drink. And Coffee Fusion is exactly the same guys. I'm trying to create a unique experience as an online roaster and develop a community of people who really love drinking coffee. For example, last week I did a Snapchat story on cupping and it was so great to see the interaction of people who watched the video and then gave me their opinions on the cupping that I did. And the amount of interaction I got was even bigger than I get on YouTube, which is absolutely awesome because obviously YouTube gets a much bigger audience. I'll also reply to a message at 9.30 at night. It's none of this nine to five business here. Um, if you message me, I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. Um, whether it's just a question about coffee, whether it's a question about the stuff I sell, whatever it is, Basically, I want to give you the best experience when you uh, interact with me and Coffee Fusion. That also means that I'll do Facebook advertising, whatever I need to do to expand this community and make sure people find out about Coffee Fusion if it is something that they would be interested in. And that's the same reason I tell you to like the videos, uh, comment, share it with your friends. It's all about building something that's bigger than us. So guys, I really appreciate those of you who watch this video. It's not that latte art guide that I usually produce and gets a lot of views. And as I was saying guys, I'd really love to know what the coffee industry is like where you live. Are there still a lot of cafes with arrogant baristas? Have you guys kind of evolved and moved past that? Uh, what are the best things about where you live in terms of coffee and what needs to improve in your opinion? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this is the first one you've seen, make sure you check out a few other videos because I do a lot of different coffee related stuff and the Coffee Fusion community is a great place to be if you want to learn more about coffee. And as always guys, I'll see you on Thursday for another Latte Art compilation. Bye for now.